I'm just playing in poopy water. Who doesn't do that? This week on Sailing SV Layla, we thought we'd show you some of the modifications and improvements we've made to the boat since we bought her. But before we get started on that, here's some gratuitous sailing footage. Today I thought I would uh, take you around the boat and give you a little bit of an idea of uh, some of the modifications and improvements we've made to Layla uh, since we bought her. So let's take a look. Okay, one of our very first mods that we did was to change up our navigation. This had a, a very nice but older unit on it and uh, we knew we wanted to start fresh as far as that goes. So we added this whole setup right here with the nav pod and Raymarine touchscreen. I'm sure in that first episode you noticed us messing around with quite a few things and we mentioned a couple of those. One of those was our Bluetooth Fusion Stereo, which uh, we are not sad about at all. It's been amazing. Um, it's nice to just have a good solid stereo that you can pipe your phone to from anywhere in the boat, which we do. We also added and mounted the uh, charging bracket for a new standard Horizon GPS HX870 VHF. This also has DSC on it, uh, it's just a good all around unit, floats, waterproof, etc. Then of course our baby swing, which mounts up right here, which uh, he's actually already grown out of, but was indispensable for the short amount of time that he used it. I'm not sure how we would have uh, handled him without it. New fire extinguishers placed in the cabin where they're easy to reach. Also another very useful item if you're in any kind of uh, hot climate at all or even just a little hot and you're trying to sleep down below are fans. So we put several of these bad boys in. They uh, don't hurt you if you smack them in your hands or on your face, which I do all the time when I'm standing over the sink. That one I placed right near one of these lights. It's a good way to mount these kind of things uh, so you can find the electricity you need to go to them. What do you think of all this dog? Am I boring you? Then the last thing you may have seen us messing with was the depth sounder and uh, knot meter up front. Um, we wound up taking a lot of that stuff apart to try to get the depth sounder to work properly. And we think it might have just been a bad wire because we did finally get it working. Uh, the knot meter itself is a retractable kind and uh, 
after messing with the paddle some and just cleaning it off, it's worked fine ever since. And so really that is the list of things that we did uh, before leaving from Atlantic City. And this is all while arriving at the boat, stocking it with groceries, getting all our stuff on here, uh, making sure the baby had a place to stay, to sleep, and uh, getting to know the boat well enough to take it 600 miles down the coast. And uh, here we are, so it worked out pretty good. Okay, now the list of things we did before heading down to Florida and the Bahamas is pretty extensive, so let's get on it. Zeke is demonstrating one of my personal favorite, so this is a cascading backstay. What you doing? <laughs> well, we've decided that we would like a uh, adjustable backstay. Uh, for racing purposes so that we can help flatten our main sail and so I've put one together a cascading version of a uh, just adjustable backstay using Dyneema and uh, 3 8 line and some blocks and stuff like that so this being a fractional rig with swept back spreaders the uh, backstay doesn't actually uh, do much as far as like just holding your mast up it's more for sail shape so we can ease these all the way off, you know, take off these two pieces and replace them with uh, Dyneema and the whole new system. Just like that. Piece of cake. When we use these aluminum eyes instead of blocks both here and up top. The reason for using those is you wind up with a lot less moving parts uh, to go bad when they're sitting out in the open the way they are, uh, especially that one up top. And so far it's worked great. We can uh, <coughs> pop this thing virtually all the way off when sailing downwind. Like so. And then for sailing upwind, we want to flatten the sails out or in, uh, in higher wind. Just give this a nice, easy tug. And that brings that in. The next item we added is a Cunningham, which meant adding this Schaefer deck block and a new line, which runs all the way up here and to this little butte. It also meant having to rearrange some of how our lines work. And one of my personal favorites, we added spinnaker gear for an asymmetrical spinnaker that we bought uh, in the winter. We got our spinnaker uh, second hand from a fellow down in Panama City, Florida. And uh, got a really good price on it. It's barely been used. Uh, beautiful condition and uh, a whole lot cheaper than what we would have spent new. But that meant we had to add a lot of gear to make it all work. So, what we have here is our tack line. And again, we used one of these low friction aluminum eyes. And on this particular model of boat, hooking it right to that bale on top of the anchor roller works amazingly well. We got a little fair lead here and then these fair leads lead us all the way back. It's right there. Something else worth mentioning is we have put all new lines pretty much on the whole boat. I think the only things that aren't new are the reefing lines and they're in good shape. We do have one friend who helped us out with a couple. He's a rigger. Um, but most of these, this is eBay line. You can find really good deals. Um, I'm talking about, you know, the spinnaker halyard we got, I believe cost about $35. But anyway, all this line, uh, incredibly cheap. And if you buy a fit set and just get on YouTube and check out some of the uh, videos that are available to show you how to do some of the splices it's really easy save a bundle 
learn how to splice, do it yourself. Basically one thing I've never cared for are topping lifts. As you can see this one no longer has one. And the reason for that is the boom kicker. This is the most simple unit you can get, which is why I like it. And this is just about the biggest boat you can probably use it on. The other thing we did is these boats were all fit with a Dutchman reefing system, which I flat out hate. So I removed all that, patched up all these little holes, and replaced it with this handy dandy Lazy Jack system, which is a combination of uh, couple designs I found online and kind of put them together and then hoist using this line as well and we'll clip it in right there as you can see well, that brings your lazy jacks up and there you have a lady jack and we got one on the other side as well as you can see right there and so when it's time to take sails down you hoist those up point her into the wind and just drop the sail and it pretty much flakes right into that pretty nicely and then I designed ours to just stow away so the cover goes over everything and uh, it works really nice all right I'm really proud of this next one this is a big one it wasn't as big a job as you might think for what I'm talking about is our new electric head isn't she lovely we won't show you too much of it and right here is our button for it. That's what I'm talking about right there. We replaced all of our uh, hoses leading back to the tank. I'm just playing in poopy water. Who doesn't do that? Yeah. And uh, wired it in. It has been an excellent, excellent ad, and I would highly recommend it. It, uh, you know, just feels a little more civilized. So again, there's some of the things we did both right when we bought the boat and then also after we had it over the winter uh, leading up to our trip down to Florida and the Bahamas. And, uh, you know, we don't consider this a, a DIY channel by any means, but, you know, we hope if some of that stuff gives you ideas or helps you see what we do with our boat, we hope it helps. And by all means, please comment below if you have any suggestions or any questions about how, any, we, how we rig this stuff or how it works. By all means, we'd, we'd love to hear it. Give us a like. Thank you. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on social media. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Cheers! Cheers.